I'm kind of excited. Um, I've always wanted to live in another country, even though it's like a, it's not like it's like living in Europe or like someplace extremely far, but it's, it's another country. I have my passport with me, my I-20 and a visa. So it's, um, it's very different, but I'm excited for the change and the challenge. I'll have to be like getting used to using Canadian websites, like Nike.ca, like that kind of stuff. Because over here we use like .com. I'm definitely gonna miss it. I'm missing my mom, kind of like the commute, like the city feel, walking my dogs every day, like that kind of thing. I'm definitely gonna miss that aspect. They hate runners. They hate runners. Come on, pups. Uh, it's been really tough with my dog not around because he's been there for me since I was a little kid. I don't really know life without my dog, so. One time I didn't have bags and I was kicking some dirt over it. It felt really bad. My mom and I are like this. We're super close. Like I'll hang out with my mom instead of hanging out with friends sometimes. Like my mom's like, oh, we got dinner on the stove. I'm like, yes. Thumbs. Thumbs. How hard do you want them diced? Um, just small because we're gonna put them in the salad. So, like just little ones. We're watching Dyson Frank Cooking Show with Dana Smith. Did it ever bug you that my last name wasn't Frank? I never thought about it. No? No. And I was never like embarrassed to tell people that you got married again. So you weren't? It didn't, didn't bother me. When I started playing basketball, she, she was like, she's more than willing to help me out with anything that I wanted to try. Like if I wanted to get like new shoes and stuff, and she was, she was always more like super, super supportive. The dogs are gonna go back into depression when you leave the school again. Yeah. I will go back into depression, although I promise you I won't cry this time. I really hope you don't like buy clothes for the dogs. I think I would. Why would I? You almost did at one point. When? Like, you know, like bedazzled collars, right. like that, booties. <laughs> coming from the school that I was at last year and then coming to Orangeville, Orangeville was way, way nicer. It's almost like a family being there, like being around Coach and his family, like I felt really invited and like it was cool. I think Dyson changed a whole lot from the beginning of the season. And I think, you know, I, I knew he had some animosity, but I, I didn't know how deep that animosity ran. And I think as a result of that, he had a problem relating to like grown men as well. My family was pretty much like gypsies growing up. My mom and I have moved 15 times my entire life. And then if I'm counting my own moves, it would be 17 moves from Connecticut to now Canada. I think without basketball, without sports in general, probably a very angry person. His, his dad uh, is a very angry man. Um, and it was a violent marriage, it was not good. When I realized that he could possibly perpetuate the cycle, that by seeing his dad treat me that way, Dyson may think this is how women are supposed to be treated. I thought, I don't want that for my son. I've been a single mom since he was six months old. When I was a kid, I had terrible anger issues. Over time, like I started getting angrier and angrier and angrier, and then I was getting expelled from schools because of fights. Sports kind of gave me that like foundation to let like all of my stress out. I had him playing sports 24 seven. He loved football. He loved anything just physical that he could just pummel people. You always look at like, what could it be if I was still in this family dynamic, if he was still here? I would hate the person that I would be if I ever treated my mom the way that my dad did. Like, I would never want to be around that kid. And so it's always been the two of us. He's my constant. Pops, you ever see this? We're better off without you. <laughs>